hey do you currently count calories and, and does that work for you it's a serious question i mean just in starting a corn of war I, I just i love the simplicity of it which is one of the things that really attracted me to it plus i love beef i just never really wanted to count calories i didn't want to mess with it i want to track my food I, i've occasionally plugged it in to see where I'm at fat to protein ratio, and usually I'm around 65% fat, 35% protein. Um, but I've never really counted calories. But I've hit a wall. You know, once I hit 254, I started at 340, and I got down to 254, I hit a wall, and I have yet to get below 254. In fact, I've, I've been floating between 255, 265. At one point, I got to 274. Uh, I just um, got lazy and uh, stopped weighing myself every day and, and was indulging in too many snacks. But, but you know, that, that was a one-time thing, got back down to, so basically I'm floating between 255 and 265. And I've been able to maintain with the carnivore diet. Uh, you know, it's, I, I don't, I'm not hungry. Uh, I enjoy eating uh, ground beef and steak. An average day for me is waking up in the morning. I'm definitely a morning person. I'll have a couple cups of coffee, um, I'll put uh, half a tablespoon of butter in each one, so one tablespoon of butter in the morning, and that helps get me till noon. At noon, I'll have 1.25 pounds of ground beef on, on average. Some days I switch it up, and I say 1.25, this is raw weight. I get a five pound tub, and I cook it up, and I divide it into four, and that gives me four lunches or four meals uh, throughout the week. And so uh, I'll do that. Uh, there's an energy supplement that I like to take in the afternoon. Again, I'm a morning person. So come afternoon, um, I need that. And I can't take energy drinks, man. They just, they give me that huge crash. And uh, this is, I mentioned it before, this is what got me off the sodas, got me off the donuts. And, and I'll do that in the afternoon. And that really, you know, gives me a nice little pick me up, finish out the day uh, throughout the afternoon and um, uh, finish up the work day. I'll also have uh, three to four eggs in, uh, sometime, sometime in between that, around two or three o'clock, just kind of like a little snack. And then before six, I'll have uh, a steak or burger patties. Uh, recently, it's been strip steaks. I found some for you know six dollars a pound, so it's a little bit easier on the on the pocketbook there. Uh, those ribeyes really got up there, especially you know during the COVID situation. So I found these strip steaks that I really enjoy, and it's um, they're eight ounce steaks. So I'll, I'll have two of them. Well, when I was figuring out the average calories, everything I just mentioned, it's around 2,750 calories a day. And according to my Fitbit app, with my height, I need to be around 2,900 to 3,100 calories, depending on how much exercise I get that day, you know, depending on how much walking I do that day. And uh, so I guess I'm just, I'm, I'm right there um, to where it's not enough to really gain, but it's not enough to really lose either. And so what I've tried, what I started doing this last week, is I started getting that down closer to 2,200 in calories. And what I've done is I've taken out about a half pound of meat. And I, I, I have to be honest, I'm a little hungry at night, but you know, it's kind of psychological. I can kind of get through it, okay? And so um, what's happened, and again, this is just a week, and, and I plan on sticking to this for a little bit, um, definitely these last you know few weeks going up to the wedding to, to see if I can get rid of these love handles and, and gut that I got going on and get to my goal weight of 240. Um, we'll see, but I've lost 10 pounds. Uh, I'm down, I, I weighed at 257 today. And again, it's just a week. I don't wanna say just 10 pounds, that's a lot. And, and I'm feeling good. You know, this I love. I, I still love the carnivore. I, I try to stay away from calling it a diet. It's a lifestyle change for me. Occasionally, I'll add in a few vegetables. Occasionally, I'll I'll do some fruits. Uh, not too often. My, my weakness again is is Mexican food, tortillas, chips, hot sauce. Um, I've been able to completely stay away from from Pepsi's, <laughs> sodas, and, and and donuts. And so, um, you know, we were really bad about eating cake. Uh, there for a while and, and sweet, you know, donuts and whatnot. And um, I, occasionally, and, and probably a little too often, uh, this last couple months, we um, we've uh, allowed ourselves to have some ice cream, butter pecan, mm, double dip with a waffle cone. For the most part, you know, it's it's it's. I've been able to strict. I've been able to stick mostly just carnivore, and um, and again, I li I like it. Uh, the comments I'm, I'm receiving has really been helpful. The tips, uh, your journey, uh, really been helpful. And uh, you know what I hear is it's, it's really hard to keep the weight off because when we have that diet mentality, 
it's like, oh, I've done so well. Okay, I've done good. I can I can have this now. And then before you know it, you're back up to 274. You know, then what, 280, 290, 300, 340 is where I was. And so it's, it's, it's really got to be a lifestyle change. You know, again, we have the knowledge. It's just the willpower. It's the motivation. Uh, it's the purpose. You know, they say you have to have a why that makes you cry. Uh, why are you doing this? and stick with it and so hey i'm glad you're on this journey if, if these videos are helping you hit the like button subscribe to the channel come along this journey with me and together let's live a healthier lifestyle hey and if you haven't heard about the carnivore diet or you're just now getting into it and you need a, just a quick start guide we have the carnivore survival guide there'll be a link below click that if you want something um, more in depth with recipes meal plans uh, grocery list uh, Caitlin and Ellen Weeks, they did a book called 30 Day Carnivore Diet Challenge. Uh, there'll be a link to that below too. Uh, definitely worth the investment. And uh, man, to learn more about this meat only diet, we'll put a link to the video here uh, so you can check that out. Man, I appreciate you watching this. Until next time, God bless and keep grilling. <music>